All right, guys, we have another great video for you today. How great is it? It's so great. That's how we're doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm oh, down. Man. We're going to make it. Thank you guys for joining us, and we have another great video for you today. We're going to show you some baby skinks, but also a few ball pythons. And we have some uh, spiders that we don't know what to do with. So you guys can help us out in the comments. And stick around, and you'll get to see it all. We got some baby Eastern Blue Tongue Skinks and I'm going to show you how cute they are. So I'm going to grab one out and uh, hopefully they don't bite me. Come here you. Come here. Come here. All right. All right. They're very, very, whoa. -oh. They're very, very uh, jumpy at this young age and um, very cute as you can see. They're very dangerous. <laughs> so, baby blue tongue skinks. All right. Look, ow. <laughs> baby blue tongue skinks are um, from, these ones are from Australia. He's a little upset. He is a little upset. I think he's hungry. <laughs> Watch. Ow. <laughs> All right. I get it. Ow. Ow. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay. Come on. This is for the big shot. This is for the big shot. Let's just relax. <laughs> Look. He's like chasing my thumb. Uh, 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 uh. He's going to bite my thumb. <laughs> All right. How about I put him back? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Eastern Blue Tongue Skinks are from Australia. And uh, we've produced quite a bit here at r &B Reptiles this year. We're really excited. Um, so far, we have our fourth Eastern Blue Tongue Skink laying right now. Um, she's had three, I think. She's littering, Ben. She's littering. She's littering. Littering all over. She's, she's gonna get fined. Dropping skinks she's gonna, everywhere. She's gonna get fined for littering, because littering is illegal, Ryan. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> so we have our fourth Blue Tongue Skink littering and uh, that's for Easterns. We're excited because those are pretty tricky to breed. Um, we've not produced that many in the past, and I think that we're up to 20, that would be like 27? 20, 27, I think. It's like 27, and we still have the rest of this litter plus two others that are gra gravid, pregnant. pregnant. So we have two more that will probably have litters, and um, we're up to 27 this year, which is huge for Eastern Blue Tongue Skinks in the United States, and we're excited about it. Um, we'll see how many we're gonna let go, and we'll, you know, we'll get to that. But really excited, they're very cute, as you can see, and uh, very feisty. So we don't like to mess with them too much because we don't like to stress them out, but um, it's fun to hold them. They're cute and they're great. So, baby Eastern Blue Tongue Skinks. No, obviously calm down with age. So they do calm down with age. gonna be That's true. maniacs, but. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this girl, we're not exactly sure if she's gravid or not. She's super big, but she looks that way most of the year. This is a super lorry female that we've been growing up. She's produced for us before. And every time it's always been a surprise when she's wrapped around eggs because she's like impossible to palpate. But she's off food. She's locked a bunch of times. Mm. What do you think? You guys have any good uh, suggestions on how to palpate difficult females? Because this girl, girthy, can't even. Come on. Uh, this is too much, too much chonk, man. <laughs> I don't know. Can't get in there. Really hoping. And what did we breed her to? Fingers crossed. That's the. Um, Pastel, Hidden Gene Wilma, uh, Lori, male. Right. So Very cool. Super Lori, Hidden Gene Wilma's. That will be cool. We at r Reptiles take our polls very seriously. It's very difficult to actually overcome thinking about it. You're doing great. 
So we're going to put up a poll, like we said two videos ago, of the top five uh, names for the Miguel snake. And uh, you guys can pick. So make sure you click on our community tab and see and then vote for what the top five names will be. So I'll just run through them real quick. We have the Mogul, the uh, snake called Fred, Chutney, Salsa, and Jalopy. Jalopy is the one that we combine the first letter of each uh, gene in there. So, um, and then uh, if you guys vote, well, whatever you guys vote for, we're going to call that snake that. And we'll put it on the tag and everything. It'll be official. So, thank Ooh, you. And make sure you go on the community tab and vote. We have a quick update for you on our tarantulas. So, as Ryan likes to call them, they're terror antulas. Just kidding, they're not that scary. Um, so these are, we have five of them, six of them? Five. Five, we have five, and they are B. Hamori. So this is a big one. And they're all about the size of adults. They're very pretty. You can see how colorful the knees are and just all the other little things just going on there. Man, super, super cool. And uh, we give them a little hide to go in, like a den. We feed them dubia roaches. And these guys are ready to breed. And what we've decided, it was kind of a tough decision. We've kept these for years, because these ones grow kind of slow. We've kept them for years. Um, they grew up, they're healthy, they're great. But I don't think we're ready to handle a whole bunch of slings. So these guys can have like 400 babies and they're like little dots running around. And uh, we decided that we're gonna, get, we're gonna you know, hand them off to somebody else that maybe would wanna do something like that. So if you guys are interested in some tarantulas, just message us um, either on Instagram or on Facebook or you can text me uh, and we will you know, work something out. And uh, these guys are awesome. We really, really love them and we really enjoy them. But um, I think that we're just ready to hand them over to somebody that, that could actually do some breeding with them. I think that it's only right. So, all right, that's the update on those. Huh. All right, so we're gonna do the um, like update on the candy project that we have going. Here's our mail for this project. He's getting close to breeder size, actually. He's very pretty. He's actually 100% pied. Yeah, and it washes out a tiny bit. It's so white, the belly there. So we really like candy. Um, we haven't uh, done anything with it yet, but um, it is a lilac with albino, but we're not gonna do the crosses. We're gonna keep them pure candy. And we're gonna put him over here. Obviously we're doing candy pied. So we got these girls that are growing really fast. It's a pastel enchi, het pied, 66% het candy. And she just loves to eat. Wow, yeah, she's big. And we actually have two of those. The exact same combo. And if you know anything about how Enchi interacts with this, it really like turns the white space in the pied like bright orange. You know, that obviously combined with leopard is really awesome, but we don't have that quite yet. This is another pastel Enchi Het Pied 66% Het Candy. So when we do these pairings, everything will be 100% uh, Het Candy that comes out. So we'll get that gene crossed over. Hopefully these end up proving. We'll get a couple of visuals. And then we had to pick up Female Pied 66% Het Candy. If she doesn't prove out, obviously he's visual candy, she's visual pied, so there'll be 100% double heads. But this gives us a little bit of a, a chance to make candy pies, which are pretty, still pretty rare right now and kind of expensive. So that's cool. We like that. They're very pretty, very pretty.
So that's uh, the candy project in a nutshell. Thanks for tuning in guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Love your family. Everything's gonna be okay. See you next time. So you didn't notice anything different about me? Standing on one leg. Um, new socks? That's, a, <laughs> that's an old Homestar Runner joke. For all you Homestar Runner lovers out there. It's funny because this video has been brought to you by Homestar Runner. Homestarrunner.com <laughs> Stick the marshmallows in your pocket for secret eating. Secret eating. Okay. Burninating the countryside. Trondor! Trondor! Everybody loves the guitar. We don't really love them. How great is it? It's so great! That's so how we're doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm oh, down. Man. We're gonna make it! You know, there was an <laughs> article about uh, increased seismic activity at Yellowstone. I did see that. And I think I know why. That's messed up. <laughs> Is it one jump? <laughs> this is not where I thought you were going with that. One jump. Terra Ranchalos. They're Terra. Terra Ranchalos. The one on the tag is serious. It's very serious. It's insane. Very serious. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I feel like it's my turn, right? Yeah, it's your turn. Good job not doing gang signs at this time, I mean. Doing all those gang signs. I feel like I should do something right now. Don't hit me! I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not your puppet to the man. I think no. you should give somebody an inspirational speech, like right now, but like this close. Guys, it's gonna happen for you. We're all gonna be rich. We can keep one and sell the rest. They're all limited edition Zelda ones. <laughs> Limited edition Zelda ones. Hurry, hurry, come with me. We can be rich and we also all get to keep one and we can play Nintendo games. Nintendo, give me free stuff. If you want it, you can have it. But you gotta go and reach up there and grab it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>